this is my NCA rate meter, and this is uh, this unit dates from the 1950s. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it on. It's coming up. And I'm going to let it run for a minute. And this is a Geiger tube with an open window. And I'm going to test a uh, tritium key ring with it. What I'm doing right now is I'm counting the number of CPM per minute. I'm going to let it run for a minute. Now at 54 seconds. Turn up the volume. Okay. We're approaching one minute. Okay. So the air count is one hundred and fifty five counts per minute. One hundred and fifty five counts per minute with this open end GM tube, which is nineteen fifties uh tube. Now I'm gonna move my key ring over. This is my key ring. I got this from a guy in Singapore. It's tritium filled. I've had it for about two or three years. And I'm going to push it right up against this open window. I'm going to put it right up against the open window. Get it up a little higher. already hear this recording. There it is. Against the open window. I'm going to turn on the rate meter and let it count. Now remember it's 155 CPM. Now I'm going to turn it on and let it go for another minute. This is Single counts, counts of 10, counts of 100 and higher. For 31 seconds. We're now at 420 counts, approaching the one minute additional mark, we're at 90 seconds. Two minutes, so 521 counts, 521 counts, so this little uh, device uh, has produced a uh, radiation count of uh, 155 subtracted from 521. So we're looking at probably more than 300 and some odd counts. I'm going to do the math in my head real fast, but I won't do that. But we can see that this little device uh, does emit uh, some radiation. And it takes a, a very sensitive tube to re record it.